my very first award book. Written by Matthew Oldham, illustrated by Liv Cosgrove. From the bluest oceans to the tallest mountains, our world is full of spectacular sights. Whenever you live, it's outside your door, waiting to be explored. The world is home to billions of people and animals. It's also home to millions of living things we've not yet discovered. If you were up in a spaceship, this is what our world would look like. It's a big ball of rock called planet Earth. Seasons are changes in the weather that take place at different times of the year. Some parts of the world have four seasons, others only have two. Deserts are among the driest places on Earth and some can also be the hottest. Living things here have found clever ways to live in the heat without much water. This is a camel from the Sahara Desert in North Africa. It can survive for a week without drinking. Tropical rainforests grow in parts of our world that are warm and wet. There are busy, noisy places where millions of animals and plants live together. The North and South Poles are the coldest parts of the planet. The land and sea close to the poles are covered in snow and ice all year. Even the widest river begins as a narrow stream on a hill. A river always flows downhill, collecting more water along its way. It ends when it meets another river, a lake, or the sea. Most of the earth is covered by salty sea water. Some sea creatures are found in the deepest, darkest parts of the ocean. But most live near the surface or in shallow seas. The world beneath our feet is full of life and buzzing with activity, just as it is on the surface. Lots of the creatures live in the soil, near the surface. Storms look different all over the world. The most powerful storms don't happen often, but when they strike, they show the weather at its widest. Volcanoes are openings in the Earth's surface. Sometimes the hot, sticky rock that's buried deep underneath bursts through, causing a big explosion known as an eruption. The Earth provides for us in lots of ways it has everything we need to survive, but we must look after what we have so it doesn't run out. Burning fuel gives us energy and creates electricity, but it can make the air dirty. We also use some cleaner energy sources to make electricity. There's a lot you can do to look after our world. The end. Thank you for watching.